In this video, we're going to learn about Power Query. So what is Power Query? It's a tool in Excel for Office 365 and Excel 2016 or later. And it allows us to connect to many different sources of data and import them into Excel and also perform any sort of transformations on our data that we might require. And then once a query is built in Power Query, it can be easily refreshed so that we're always working with the latest set of data. So where can we find Power Query in Excel? So Power Query is located up in the Data tab, and it was actually renamed to Get and Transform in 2016, but the Power Query name has kind of stuck. So you'll hear either Get and Transform or Power Query. So in the Get and Transform Data section, this is where we can connect it to different types of data, and all of those can be found in the Get Data command. So there's many different options, so we can connect to flat files, uh, different databases, Azure SQL databases, and different online services like SharePoint or Facebook or Salesforce. And many other options like from a table or range in Excel or from the web are also available. And once your query is built, you can view, manage, or refresh them from the Queries and Connections section here. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite data connections, which is the folder connection. So if I head over to my file explorer, I've got a folder here called sales. And in there, there's two folders, one for 2016 and one for 2017. And if I take a look in either of those, there's a bunch of different files. So one for each month. So what we're going to do is use the folder query to combine all the data in all these files and folders and import them into Excel. So let's head back to Excel and let's go up to our data tab and get data and we're going to do from file and in there from folder. Now Excel is going to ask us for the folder path so we can just paste that in there or you can browse to it and once you got that in there we can press OK and that's going to bring up this navigator preview window of our data. And right now we can't actually see any of the data that's in the file, so we just have a listing of all those files down here. But if we go to Combine and click on this little arrow down there, and go to Combine and Edit, then Excel is going to ask us to specify the settings for each file, and we're just going to base that on the first file. And all this looks correct. We have CSV files, so everything looks okay. And if we press OK, then that's going to open up the Power Query editor. And Power Query has created a sample query for, based on our first file there. And then use that to combine all the files into this one sales data query here. So Power Query has combined the data for us, but we're also going to make some further transformations on this data. So the first thing, we don't need this source name column here, which contains the file name. We can just right click on that and remove it. Also, it looks like we've got this sales data spread across four different columns. So one column for each product, but what we would really want is one column for all the sales data, and then another column to indicate which product it's for. So if we select these four columns, holding Control, and right click any of them, and choose Unpivot Columns, then we're left with what we want. So we have one column for our sales values, and one column to indicate which product it's for. Now the last thing to do is just to rename these columns. So instead of attribute, we can double click on that and rename it product and press enter. And same here, instead of value, let's rename that to sales. And we're ready to load our data into Excel now. So to do that, we just need to go up to the close and load button in the home tab and close and load to so we can choose where to load it to. And then we're presented with a couple different options to import our data. So we can import it into a table or directly into a pivot table or a pivot chart. We also get to choose where we want to place our table or pivot table. So let's just choose our existing worksheet in A1 and we're going to load it into a table. So let's click OK. And then we get our data loaded into a table in Excel. 
So with the Power Query from Folder Query, we've managed to take all those files in all those folders and combine and import the data into Excel. And we also did some simple transformations on our data to get it into a more usable format. So that's a quick introduction to Power Query. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.